Hi everyone, welcome back. In one of my videos that I published about 2-3 days ago about the subscriber flare February 2024, Spacedead42 left a comment. He said, more gay crap. These devs have to go. <laughs> oh boy, his comment made me laugh so hard. So thank you so much, Spacedead. Guess what? Bad news for you. Because in this video, I am about to show you and everyone more this kind of crap. Because we have some new armors and paints for Valentine's Day and Chinese New Year. So buckle up. However, I'm only half joking because whether you like these or not, it's totally your personal preferences. And we should respect that 100%. And my purpose in this video is to inform you and to entertain you in the process. If I've done that, I have done my job. So, let's go. First of all, let's take a look at the new items for Valentine's Day. We have two new set of armors. Arden SL Core Armor Edition. It's called Fate. Core Armor, Leg, and Arm. And this? No, this one. This one is... Oh, no, I think it's this one. Yep, this one is a helmet. So this set only come with four pieces. There is no backpack, no undersuit, just like this. Wow, look at what we got here. We got a heart on the shoulder plate. You got another heart on the other side of the shoulder. So each shoulder has a heart. So this is this armor, front and back. This is the side. It's a little fashion show. Personally, I don't like this armor. By the way, all these uh, armors and paints, I only buy it with store credit. So after I made this video, I'm gonna melt, I think, a lot of these things I just bought. So this one is a set. It's 11 US dollars. Don't let this 80 cents fool you. It's 11 US dollars plus tax and everything. More than 11 dollars. Okay, more info. So four pieces it's not even including a backpack if i put a backpack you know what it doesn't really match if you give us this armor set you should also design a matching backpack for this with a matching backpack it will look a lot better but this black it, it's okay it's not that bad but but with a red backpack with a heart on it will be even better all right, so let's check the next armor set. Wow, we have a heart over here. No hearts on the shoulders, but you have a heart right here. Wow, a target practice. If you shoot, shoot right here. Let's get a matching helmet for this. And the backpack, this backpack fits a lot better than the other one because you have these uh, black patches. Okay, take it off. So four pieces for this one. This one is called Kismet. I googled it. So Kismet is actually a synonymous of fate. A hypothetical force or personified power that determines the course of the future events. Fate or destiny. So Kismet. The new word I learned. Core Armor Kismet Edition. Do you like it? With a heart right here. This one is also selling for $11. It's, it's actually on sale. The original price is $12. But if you buy it now, you can save $1.20. You know what? The, the devs who designed these armors should sign their name right here so we know who designed these things. Right, Space Dead? Okay, I definitely will melt all those packs. It's not my personal favorite, but hey, if you like it, don't let me stop you. If you really like it, enjoy it. It's your choice. Enjoy it and use it and buy it. Because that is your right. If that makes you happy, do it. Period. So that's the armor for the Valentine's Day. Now, we have some paints. So these six pack are the old ones from last year or year before. But this year, we have four new ones. Love Struck paint for the Mo, SRV, MPUV, and the Raft. Let's go take a look. Okay, so this one is for the Argo Mo. You know what? Let's fly it out. Oh, the lighting is not good on Lorville. Oh, now you can see better. 
with uh, better lighting. It's pretty beautiful. I like this paint. I think this is a good paint because we don't have a lot of good paint for the mole at the moment. Unless you get the more carbon. I like that more carbon. Very industrial like. But this one looks nice. Very detailed as well. You can see a lot of the inner structure of the ship also painted with uh, this paint, this color. And you can see right here also painted the mining arms right here inside. Okay, whoever designed this paint should stay in CIG, I think. Oh! Alright, second ship. The Argo MPUV. What is going on? We have some neon lights. Wow. This is a MPUV personnel. So I just want to try if I can apply this paint to this little ship as well. Because it's quite useful to... Once we have the Idris coming out, it's quite useful to use a ship to carry a lot of personnel in here. This is a mini dropship, actually. Yeah, I'm going to put this on the on my Idris's. So it can take one, two, eight people. Nine people plus the pilot. So you can, you can take. But something wrong with this right here. So let's go check out the Argo Cargo. The Argo Cargo is good. So I think that's a bug. So open this door here. The Argo Cargo also has its one seat. So you can also carry a lot of people. You just have to stand there. Oh, there are actually some uh, graphic problem right here. I think because of the paint. You can see these uh, transparent doors here and here. I'm just going to fly this inside this hangar. So this is the paint for this little Argo cargo. Built tough. So one of the best in show ship. Oh, you also have a airlock on top. No, I try to open this thing on top. I don't think, uh, what is this? It doesn't open. We don't have a lot of paint for the Argo cargo or Argo personnel. This is a good paint for this. I think uh, one of the best in show paint is uh, the royal blue. This one, not bad. But it's very girly. Very girly paint. And you know what Space Dad is going to say. Next ship is the Argo Raft. The Argo Raft, I just want to show you. Argo Raft has many paints already. This is the Polar Hazard Anchor. Personally, I like this paint a lot. Either the white or the black and yellow and this one is i don't know is a uh, pink and gray so let's go take a look argo raft wow it's a pretty big ship actually one thing it's really good about these paint it's a pretty high quality whether you like it or not you can see all these little details are painted with this paint and right here you also have this uh, contrast over here and even these little hold for the cargo also painted with pink. The big landing gears right here. Very detailed. I like this is the right direction to go. Very nice. The, the inside paint does not match with this. The inside like these should come with the paint itself. But they only painted the outside, not the inside. Because once you open this, it doesn't really match at all. The orange and the pink, not a good match. Not to me. Alright, so this is the paint. When you fly the ship, it looks like this. I want to show you as much detail as possible. So that you know whether you, can, you want to buy this paint or not. Hopefully, I'm doing my job right. Because it's really hard to find a good lighting on Herson. But personally, this is not my favorite. 
You can see the gray and the pink. It's not a good contrast. If you put a white, it will be better. However, if you like it, it's not a bad paint at all. Okay, self-destruct. The last new paint for the Core Armor is the SRV Lovestruck. So for the SRV, we also have three more paints. The Dark Storm, this is my favorite. Black and yellow. This looks very industrial. This is the Overcast livery and the uh, Sky Blue. And now here we have the Love Struck. You see this paint with different lighting, it reflects different, a little bit different color. And if the lighting is not right, it looks dirty. It's like, you see, this is kind of like a gather a layer of dust or something. And when the lighting is right, it's quite pretty. Alright guys, so I have to end this video right here. I'm gonna do a little family celebration for the Chinese New Year. When I come back, I'm gonna continue the paint showcase for the New Year's paint in the next video. I hope this video is helpful to help you to decide which paint you want to put in your hanger. See you guys in the next one. Stay tuned.